the stock, stock level, yes, we've been placing them from here. The two-day conference, which is set to attract over 200 stakeholders, is focused on learning the emerging human capital trends in East Africa, how they relate to the African and the global market. It also seeks to provide a networking opportunity for key business leaders, HR trendsetters, while learning how to attract, keep, motivate and inspire the workforce to help them reach their potential. Sarah Rowe, the director at Global Career Company Initiative, reiterated that the conference was meant to address the changing dynamics in human resource management and how Kenyan employers can leverage on them to improve performance. The human resource I mean, agenda that for, for today is, is covering a really wide range of, of topics. So we're looking at um, gender and diversity, which is always an issue here in the African audience and, and globally. Um, we're also covering the part of higher education um, in terms of shaping talent for the future. So I think a lot of the senior leaders in the room are saying, you know, it's not enough just to have a good degree now. They want people who've got tangible business skills, who've got entrepreneurial skills, and who can really come from university or from further education and really bring something to the table from day one. The Kenya Private Sector Alliance was represented at the conference by the PPD manager Teresa Barasa who spoke on how businesses can enhance human development to increase productivity in order to make businesses in the country competitive and sustainable thus increasing the chances of attaining economic growth. There is the strong formidable partnerships uh, between the private sector, government, um, the academia can be brought on board so that we have the triple helix uh, model and many other partners, stakeholders to ensure that we have the right research and de development in place so that we build the competencies and skills amongst us that can be able, be able to help government realize the goals that they've set out, the aspirations of the uh, Vision 2030, the big four agenda, without which we, we will move at a slower pace than really what we have the potential of doing when we all come together. She further urged the government to hasten the implementation of human resource policies that have been drafted but are yet to see the light of day. We have the plans in our minds, we have the plans in our heads, but we lack the plans for the people. So what we eventually have is non-existing plans, unimplemented plans, and essentially just plans that are made for political expediency. So as we engage with the government through various uh, political, for various uh, engagement forums, we seek that they have policy reforms that are able to ensure that our businesses remain competitive remain, um, that the, the environment is conducive, we have the right people in place, that there is that collaboration with the academia, with the government, with the private sector, with the civil society, to have the right people to take us forward as a nation. Because without that, everything will just remain a shopping list. The conference hopes to go a long way in contributing to personal learning and development of human resource practitioners in the East Africa region with the aim of improving effectiveness in the management of human resources. For Brand Plus TV Business News, I'm Daisy Wambua.